25 year rural Dorset is a £7 million R&D project funded by the government. Its main purpose is to find out how next generation mobile connectivity could benefit people who live and work in rural areas such as Dorset. And we'll be building four innovative test beds to test these theories. One will look at the production of food, one will look at industrial applications, one will look at rural business applications, and the last one will look at how we keep people safe along our beautiful but sometimes dangerous Jurassic Coast. So the consortium really started last summer um, thanks to Dorset Council um, and we owe them a huge amount for pulling the various consortium partners to deliver what we think is a really interesting project. So we're really excited at how this project can enable farmers in Dorset to see agritech and agritech delivered over 5G as a day-to-day -day reality in their lives. What excites me the most about the future of 5G in agriculture is being able to integrate all different platforms across the agricultural spectrum into one with seamless integration and easy data transfer. It'll be easier to make the day-to-day -day decisions when you've got all that data to hand at your fingertips so all the latest information can be there for you at that specific time instead of having to go field walking and try and figure out where all the problems are, the information is getting transferred via 5G. That's going to be a big benefit for the future. Agritech is really important to prepare students for the future of farming, certainly any technology that we can make the whole industry more efficient and give consumers the confidence that we're actually doing a really good job in the food that we produce and looking after the countryside. 5G could actually help reduce overheads for companies by allowing them to monitor offshore sites rather than having to deploy vessels and men to go out and visit that site, thereby reducing fuel costs and reducing carbon emissions and reducing labour costs as well. Accelerate will be concentrating on the public safety aspects of this particular project. So the rollout of 5G will enable the emergency responders to be much more proactive where drones could be used to find people who need help and to even deliver that help remotely if necessary as well. So in the space of 30 years we've gone from people simply wanting to make telephone calls on a mobile network to people wanting to run their businesses properly. And the idea here with this project is to bring 5G to areas of outstanding natural beauty but also very, very connectivity challenged areas so that the local population and businesses and the emergency services will also enjoy the same benefits as well. Well, I suppose Lulworth has been involved in rural tourism for over a hundred years, employing over 200 people during the summer months, whether full-time or part-time. In my view, has been extremely successful in expanding tourism, which is a very, very important part of Dorset's economy. So what really excites me about the 5G Rural Dorset project is being a UK leader in implementing the next generation of mobile connectivity. From growing the world's first robot grown field of wheat to using the UK's first implementation of 5G backhaul by satellite, we really are leading the way here in Rural Dorset.